one of the wanted uh -huh. uh, Sephiroth player. And there. the uh, DD, who oh, I don't remember who DD is, uh, to, who DD plays, rather. Let me get a quick look up. Uh, DD is the Wario. Who plays I was about to say, because I, I know a DD, and that's a Steve D player. Yeah, nah, it's just capital D, capital D, not D E E. But either way, we got to start at round one. We got to go back to the beginning with Ry the guy, the guy, and Ryder. And I spoke it into existence. We have Steve versus Lucina. Right. Interesting. Okay, so the guy I know firm, first and foremost as a Bowser, but I guess working on this Steve. Hey, it's a good character to pick I, up. I and thought play I recognized that name, but yeah, that now you said Bowser, that makes a lot more sense. Um, I mean, Steve is definitely like in talks right now of like I don't believe in tier lists anymore, just because everyone's <laughs> there's so many people that's so viable in this game. But like. If someone were to say, if someone were to say today, Steve is a definitive top five character, who am I to tell him that they're wrong? Oh yeah, I don't think that's even in question anymore, given the amount of stuff he can do. Mm -hmm. Exploitable, sure. There are positions of weakness, especially if you don't know all the ins and outs of what they can do. But on hit reward, the amount of zone that you can set up, the amount of reward you get just off of any situation, theoretically. Mm -hmm is so high that you can't put this character any less than uh, strong, to say the least, to not right. use tier list terms. That said, I know also Lucina is in talks of being one of Steve's like worst off matchups. I don't know if I don't know if he definitively loses to this character, but she definitely has tools that will you know help her get around the shenanigans. Not that though. Yeah, going for stalls off stage is something that uh, I'm not exactly sure of for Ryder. Like, as good as that position can be against a lot of characters that set up ledge traps, what you're looking for, you're looking to push the gas against Steve in a lot of these cases, especially right now where you have a percent lead. Ooh. Very nice read on the roll in there. I felt, I felt something more aggressive coming from Ryder, but opted just to hang back, just thought maybe he didn't believe in it close enough. Not quite. Ryder just trying Whoa, to find there something. There it is. Yeah. It looks like the Dolphin Slash may not have been a 100% true punish because the uh, Steve's back air actually whiffed. Uh, it didn't quite connect before hitting the ground. Uh -huh. But hey, you, you take those, your opponent missed space, and you take the W, and now you get to take the ledge trap as well. This should be an up smash. Yeah, there it is. You ever just casually show up and just put a magma block above you? He's just walking along. It's just a man that terraforms the land. What, what are what are in Steve's pockets? How deep do they go? <laughs> That's an excellent question. And I don't think he's looking... I don't think the guy or Steve is looking to answer that right away. Especially since the guy hasn't shown off too many extensive combos. That's a decent one right there. Able to get the up smash. I mean, percent is percent. True. It's not... I mean, you're trying to get every combo that you can. Gotta be careful that, with some of these mm. up smashes. Very lucky that he was un uh, able to avoid such a huge punish there. And, oh, the guy was out of gold, but able to get straight on with the roll. That's cool. There you go. <laughs> that was the last use of it, too. Otherwise, he was about to just uh, bare knuckle slap her across the jaw. <laughs> yeah, only, uh, which is a, not only extremely weak, but only having stone tools right now. Just gets the oh. down into the death deck. Oh. Couple loops. The guy looking pretty strong with just this position. A little bit too hair, uh, trigger happy on some of these shield grabs. But the great equalizer has appeared. Not opting to just craft it quite yet. Hanging on to it. I mean, Maybe in case he loses. Nope, never mind. It didn't matter anyway. Man said, I don't need this. So, like, it's an equalizer, all right. Like, Diamond is one of the strongest mechanics uh, for that for a character. Like, the boost in power it gives is ridiculous. Uh, I think, but what is it, it 1.35? I know that a standard diamond forward, uh, standard diamond forward smash, uncharged, yeah. is as strong as a fully charged wood forward smash. Disgusting. It's pretty crazy. But what's so frustrating about Steve in a lot of ways, what's so good about him, is that his materials are a constant well of both comeback, resource, and snowball. All yeah, in yeah. one. Absolutely. And it just makes this, it makes the game plan that you have to play against Steve almost divorced from percentage and divorced from like raw game state. It's like, all right, I have to pay attention to what's happening on the material bar because that alone can dictate my actions. And I'm glad you mentioned like the talk of materials in general because this is the character where stage knowledge will help you the most because I think we're going right back to Battlefield here. 
So his materials are like even across the board. He gets a like an equal amount of everything at a certain time. There's a whole chart for it. I don't have it on hand right this moment. I should have had that prepped. But uh, Battlefield and FD and Small Battlefield by extension, they all yield like just equal amounts of iron and wood and dirt and what have you. Yeah, and so it's something you just have to keep in mind. And arguably the most, uh, oh, it's not here, but the most important value for each and individual stage is like, do they get a influx of iron and how uh -huh. frequently? And when do they get their diamond? Because it's never random. It's always after a set number. That's right. Still, the, in terms of just raw layout, though, especially given Steve's mediocre jump height, you're giving yourself a lot of flexibility as Lucina here, especially given how Ryder has really enjoyed using uh, Dolphin Slash in so many uh, tight scenarios. Something I can also say that is different depending on stage. The tool he mines with is different depending on where you actually go. So even if the even if the uh, material yield is the same on Battlefield and FD, wow, did he just neutral get up onto the perfect plate? Yeah, it, so like you can't shield that, I don't think, or at the very least it, it uh, shield poked, but the the way to beat that kind of just TNT at neutral getup is to neutral getup spot dodge because you can buffer spot dodge before the explosion triggers. Okay, good to know. I had no idea if that was actually guaranteed or not. Yes, uh, of course, Holy spot dodge is shield. very hard punishable, but, you know, save up me. <laughs> and like I was saying, um, so on Battlefield, right. on this stage, he mines with his pickaxe, which he uses for dash attack, forward air, back air. So it's, it is a very important resource, but it also... Like, if he mines too much and he's, he loses the tool, he'll be out of his best aerials. Because he needs, he needs fair for combos. He needs bear for securing kills at later percents, you know, things of that nature. But he gets it right back because uh, that's just how it be. Yeah, and unable to get diamond as well, so it fully restarted. He's stuck on iron tools, which is far from a bad thing. Iron tools are insanely durable and still very strong. Mm -hmm. uh, but oh, the power of just a singular block, which be how it do. And unfortunately, like, the biggest, like while Lucina has the range to consistently contest like some of the structures that Steve will build. Sometimes she just isn't as, uh, thanks to being like a little bit floaty, a little bit slower in the air. Like it's being able to push advantage is so hard, but the call out there. You're gone. And now, bye bye. That is a huge play, not only for just strength in the game in order to get back into an even stock scenario, but strengthen from a momentum base because Steve can suck away any little bit of momentum that you have as a player. Any little bit of groove that you're finding, gold back air sometimes can take it all away. Oh, mm. yeah, that was good. Oh, man, but the fact that Ryder just consistently is finding these dolphin slashes and the utility of Battlefield rearing its head there, able to get to the top platform with, that, a, with the greatest of ease. It's a down throw. This doesn't have a fear uh, powered minecart at the moment. There's no gold on deck. And honestly, you may want to have that. Ooh, very careful with some Thought of these to blocks. challenge it. <laughs> Thanks to, thank you, Disjoints, um, unfortunately. Wow. Yeah, gold, while being not gr as durable, is still plenty strong in order for that forward smash uncharged. I wasn't sure if that was going to kill mid-stage, but that shut me up. Yep. The set goes to the guy. That's the guy, making his way through, showing off the Steve. And just what Steve can do, even in the simplest of ways. Like, Because what it felt like, the guy, what, despite having some fair loops on deck, mm -hmm. where he was able to get like jab fair uh, a couple of times over, also, yeah, this setup here. Uh, you can spot dodge this every Bink. single time. You, you cannot shield it uh, because it, it it goes right through it. This does so much shield damage. <laughs> oh, lordy lord. But Explosion the, so strong, it pokes a full shield. Yeah, you hate I think, to I see it. I think it's multiple hitboxes. So the first hit does, like, a ton of shield damage, and the second hit you're always able to get poked or out of it. Something like that. Uh, but you can just spot dodge and... I mean, we get to see the full utility of Steve's kit throughout all these replays. The biggest benefactor of Steve just Ooh. being able to have variable wind conditions depending on time, depending on spacing. Like, mm -hmm. his, he just is almost always has an ace up his sleeve. Now, this punish right here, that came about because the guy is, like most Smash players at all levels, we see it everywhere. I still do this. Right. You, Everyone instinctively tries to shield grab aerials. Don't do that. <laughs> this is literally the first frame of shield. Damn. One time. Break. Because you, it's not visible, so this is his first frame of doing it. Bink! 
Yeah, so I wonder if right he head. might have been fishing for a parry then at that point, where it's like, I'm going to drop shield, flash shield, so on uh, Lucina trying to shield pressure me, get like parry runoff, something like that. Unfortunately, Steve's grab, like, it's so... If you miss, it's active for so long, you have to like reel it all the way back in, and you're, you're not like Pac-Man. You don't get to grab people on the way back. No, not at all. Uh, Thankfully, because that, that makes this character even more insane. There he is. The face. There's the man. Of a cold-blooded killer. <laughs> As we move on to winners' quarterfinals already, we're already like popping through the bracket just a little bit, just with a little bit of a brisk jump. Yeah, the last the last 20 minutes, a lot of people filed in. I don't know the exact entry.